Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will learn how to create test suite and test suite collection in our sample rest API testing project in Catalon Studio and we will see what is the need and advantage of creating test suite and test suite collection. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting. So let's get started and I will open my Catalon Studio and here I am using version 5.8.4 and in the earlier sessions we have already created a sample rest API testing project and we have added some sample rest APIs here and we have also added some sample test cases. Now in Catalon Studio when you run your test case you get the logs and you also get the console output however you do not get a report for test case. So in Catalon Studio when we run our test cases we do not get any reports generated here and reports get generated only for test suite and test suite collection. Now as the name suggests test suite is a collection of test cases and test suite collection is a collection of test suites. So let us see how to do that. We have a folder test suites here. I will do a right click and say new and select test suite. You can give any name. I will say this is test suite one and say okay. And here is our test suite. Now we have a add button here. I can click here and add all the test cases or any test case I want in this test suite. So this will display all your test cases. I'm going to select both of these test cases and say OK. And our test cases have come here. And here the good thing is we have this run column where we can check or uncheck the test cases. So if we uncheck some test case that will not be run as a part of this test suite. And now I can just click on this run button to run this test suite. So this is now running our test suite with all the test cases that are enabled for execution are running as part of this test suite and once this is over we will also get a report generated here. So yes this is done and if I go to the reports folder you can see we have a folder by the name test suite one and we have a report here. If I double click on this report you can see here is the report we can see here the summary the execution settings and the execution environment here and then here we can get all the test cases that ran as a part of this particular test suite. Here is a section show test case details. If I click here you can see the logs per test case. So if I select any test case here you can see the corresponding logs here and if I go to this report right click and say open containing folder it will show the folder where this report is located and here you will find a HTML of the report and you can open this in any of the browsers. I will open it with Chrome and you can see here is our HTML report. You can expand every step and you can get all the details here, all the logs here and in case of a failure you will also get all the failure logs and all the stack trace which is very useful for troubleshooting. So this is how you can create a test suite. Now if you have to create a test suite collection again I will do a right click on test suites folder go to new and select test suite collection and you can give any name here I will say this is test suite collection one and say OK and here we have our test suite collection I have this add button here. I will click here and I can select my test suites. As of now I have a single test suite. I will say OK. And here you can see the good thing here is we get a option to select the profile. So you can see here we have profiles and as of now I have a single profile which is the default profile. So in Catalon Studio you can create multiple profiles and this will be very useful if you are running your test on multiple environment. So for example if I have a QA profile as well I will copy this and paste it again here and then rename this to QA. So this will have QA specific values and just in case I want to run my test with that profile I can add my test suite again so I can add my test suite multiple times and here I will double click here and select QA profile. So you can see here in my test suite collection I am running my test suite two times with different profiles and also I have this run option here where I can check or uncheck and the other good thing is here we have the option to run in parallel or sequential. So I am going to run this in parallel and I am going to say 
I will save everything and say execute. So this will run the test suite collection which has my test suite added two times and this is running in parallel and it is running with both the profiles default and QA and once this is done we will get our report here so let this run get completed and yes this is completed and you can see we have got a folder created here by test suite collection 1 and here we have the report and if I click here you can see we have these two test cases I can go to show details and it will take me to the report for that particular test suite and also these are the reports created for that particular test suite that run as a part of this test suite collection again you can go to the open containing folder and get the HTML for that particular test suite so this is how you can run your test suite and test suite collection of course if you go to this command builder so this is uh, the console builder here if I click here and I select any test suite or test suite collection let us say I select this test suite collection that I just created and here let me select test suite 1 and here we will get the option to select the profile so I can select the profile from here and then generate the command and this is the command that you can use to run on command line that will run our test suite with the selected profile so this is how you can create test suite and test suite collection in Catalan studio and run them to get the reports i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching